Maureen and welcome to my kitchen and today we have a kitchen basic for you. We're going to be showing you how to make popcorn on top of the stove without a popcorn popper and without a microwave and you know it's just better, it's more delicious, it's very simple and it's really getting back to basics in the kitchen. So really all you need to make popcorn, I'm personally going to be using this to make another recipe with for New Year's Eve, but to make popcorn, you need a pot with a lid, and I'll show you my little trick in a little while. But um, you need oil, so we're going to be using a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil. This is sunflower oil. We're going to put that in there. I had my pan already turned on, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's already starting to ripple a little bit. So it's just about ready. We're also going to be using three quarters of a cup of regular old popcorn kernels. I'm going to give it a little bit of a swirl just to make sure everything is coated with some oil. And then what I like to do is I like to take a splatter screen, um, put it on the pot, and then put the lid on the pot. Now the reason for this is because I'm going to be using this popcorn for um, caramel corn. And you don't want the steam to build up in there and make your popcorn soggy, so this eliminates that problem. Because when that, when you put the lid on it, the steam builds up and then it condenses down and it kind of rains on top of your popcorn. So in order to alleviate that problem, you need to release the steam from the pot. This is the easiest way I have found to do that. It also prevents a lot of injuries because sometimes if you don't use the splatter screen, you just do this. Number one, you're going to have popcorn flying all over your kitchen, and you do run the risk of getting splattered yourself on your tender skin with hot sizzling oil, and nobody wants that to happen. So, <clears throat> we're... Don't do this naked. And don't do this naked, just like frying bacon. Don't do that naked either. Um, you're just going to let this hang out. You can hear it sizzling. And um, just... We'll come back in a minute when this has started to pop vigorously and I'll tell you when you're ready to pull it off of the burner. Okay, we have started to pop somewhat vigorously and you can see in there. You're going to be able to tell when it's time to pull it by the sound that it's making. You can tell that it's really getting ramped up in there and things are popping away very nicely. But you also need to use your sense of smell because nobody likes burnt popcorn. Especially if you have an electric stove, you're going to want to occasionally just lift it off the burner so you can only use residual heat. I promise you it's still going to pop fine and put it back on when it starts to slow down a little. If you're my age, think back to that old-fashioned Jiffy Pop. Nobody liked that. You had to keep it moving, right? You had to keep it moving, but you can't keep this moving unless you have on some silicone gloves or you've got your pot holders or a towel or something. Oh, so this eliminates the shaking. This eliminates the shaking, but that was part of the fun of the Jiffy Pop, you yeah. know. Or even I know. Even in a pot, we used to shake it. You know? Yeah. Well, you can also buy popcorn pots that have a little crank on them and it stirs everything up. But you can hear that it's starting to slow down a little. And because I'm going to be using this for caramel corn, I don't want it to go too far on the burnt side on the bottom. And don't worry about that sizzling. That's just the water that's dripping down the sides of the pan. I'm going to turn it off now. And just let that popping subside. I'm going to move it off to a cold burner. I'm just going to move this lid out of the way. But I'm going to leave this splatter screen on there for just a moment because I don't want to get shot in the face with a piece mm -hmm. of popcorn. Even with popcorn, you have to think about safety, especially if you have little kids. Maybe you have your dog running around at your feet or something. Um, always be careful. Put your eye out. You put your eye out with a piece of popcorn, right? Mm -hmm. I think that would hurt more than a BB. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, and then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to dump this into a bowl. I'm just going to bring it over here, and I'm going to throw it in a bowl. And because I am using this, no burnt. it's not burnt. Not one burnt. I do have some old maids in the bottom, 
person for those of you who don't know what Old Maids are. They're unpopped kernels. And I'm just going to make sure that none of those come in here. You can see them now. There we go. I'm going to sacrifice the rest and uh, we're going to call that good. Now, you can dress this however you like. If it's movie night, put a little butter, salt, maybe some garlic powder or pizza seasoning, maybe some cheese powder if you have some in your food storage. That makes for a lovely snack. So, or ranch dressing powder, that makes a nice, nice snack too. So that's how you make popcorn the old-fashioned way. In a pot on top of the stove, it's super easy. We all have the equipment to do this, seriously. You don't have to have a big pot. Just make a smaller batch if you have a smaller, a smaller vessel to cook it in. It's really no big deal. So I hope that that helps. I hope you learned something. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Uh, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!